don't think I've ever seen a place like this before. I'm um, trying to find this capsule hotel. And it looks like we got ourselves a 13 minute walk from here. It's an unbelievable building. There's tons of stores and everything here. It's like an underground city. This says I'm going the right way, but I hope I don't get lost. Okay, I am officially lost. This is like a five-way foot traffic intersection. E Street, according to the map, I'm supposed to go through here. I think this is one of those arcades where people play pachinko. Maybe that's what some of this is. Or wait, maybe these are all restaurants. in here these are all the rooms we got the cheapest one which is 3400 that's like 26 dollars and it's like right in the middle of this arcade there's not anything across the street maybe there was at one point i have a reservation name and phone number okay One eight two and number. It's nice. This could work. selection of vending machines. Everything from Gatorade to Red Bull to that premium black coffee. This is actually pretty good. These are the washrooms. There's one of these on every single floor. Super convenient. What are these bathrooms like? You know what? That's not bad. I've seen way worse in New York apartments. Which cost thousands of dollars a month to rent. But you can tell with the multiple sinks, it's definitely like a hostel setup. Razors. Oh, looks like the sink's automatic. And uh, toothbrush, you'll need that. Plus there's towels and it looks like brushes. And hair dryers. There's also a residence lounge where you can hang out if you so desire. If you're wondering why it's quiet, it's not Friday night. There's a little TV over there that probably nobody watches, but hey, for $26, how are you gonna beat this? Now, luckily, the one we get is on the bottom, but if you wanted to go up, you just climb right up and in, and boom, there you go. It looks like these are all pretty much the same. That would make sense. Okay. There's this little hook system down here to keep it down. You can see that that's the end. I'm laying here. And look at that, my feet are touching the wall. So it might be that certain people are physically prohibited from sleeping in here. I think if you were 6'5", this would be impossible. Your head would be sticking out. But I'm 5'7", and I am just making it. I'm also now noticing that all the stuff faces this way, so I'm, I'm all screwed up. My bag and stuff should go over here. My pillows should be on this side. Oh. 
Okay, now this makes a lot more sense. Look at that. You get yourself a little monitor up there so you can catch up on Netflix. There's also a beauty mirror so you can make sure that you're the only one in here. How do I operate the TV? Is that this? Mm, no. No idea. It looks like there's also a set of airplane style headphones. It's only got the one, the one thing. Okay. I don't know if anyone has used this before, but it would just kind of go in here and then there's a plug, but like, would I plug it in here? What would I be listening to? Oh, it would probably be the TV. We've also got some other stuff over here. This vent, you can turn it off and open it. It's got some air, um, but I don't see any knobs or anything to kind of control what that does. I don't know what this does. Maybe you can hold on to it if something's going on. It's kind of like you're in a spaceship and it's coming in to land. <laughs> it's a good thing nobody else is here. But on the bright side, all the sheets and stuff, these are really clean. I saw them turning over some other rooms, so nothing in here is dirty. It might not be brand new, but it's not dirty. And they give you a pillow, which it's got like some beans or something in it, but it doesn't feel too bad. And then they give you like a big comforter, so you can make this work. And it's also not like freezing cold in here. Remember, we've got the little fan. Overall temperature, I'd say, is comfortable, and it doesn't smell. That's the thing. If this were to like have a weird bunk or something to it, that would be very disturbing, but it doesn't. It's clean. But what if you want to charge your phone? There's a plug here and it's uh, a universal outlet fits one of these So if you're from the US There you go. No idea what the wattage is on this and then you got a little shelf right there for it There's also a whole bunch of rules. No smoking that makes a lot of sense because this is like totally flammable and then there's this Ooh, but that it looks important. All right So once you get yourself settled in and you want to go to sleep this is how dark it gets. That's pretty good. There's a little bit of light coming in from over here so you don't get lost. Oh, look at that. There's a little clock up here so you can keep track of time. That's good. There's no windows. I'm also noticing that there's a fire safety plan. And even without being able to read Japanese, these are the stairwells. You can tell this red box. That is our capsule right there. And these arrows tell you how to get out in case there's some sort of emergency. The red is also the color of the YouTube subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Help me earn my 26 bucks back. You know, at first I was a little scared to stay here because I've never stayed at a hostel or any type of living thing like this before ever. And part of me thinks that a big part of your experience here is gonna have to do with who's over there, who's over here, and who's up there. That's three different people. Hopefully they're tired. <laughs> Hope you had fun watching. Subscribe if you're not, and then pick something else here or here. I'll see you in the next video.